Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. I'm going to talk to you this segment about using flash techniques to blend with ambient light in a seamless fashion. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally. So the lighting in this couldn't be simpler. It was a cloudy, soft day. Hey, it was England. The subject is right here, okay? And I do tried and true, okay? I boom an easy box, hot shoe, soft box overhead of her, and I fill it with a tri-grip. Very, you know, ad hoc, simple way to do a beauty combination. But I'm also factoring my flash that I'm adding to the scene to be just a tiny bit above the ambient level of the light. In other words, it's just a fill. It's an elaborate fill. You know, you think about fill oftentimes as being like a little flash on the camera or something like that. This is a big fill, but it's still the minimal effect is what I'm going after here. Not a big maximum kind of let's control the whole environment kind of scenario. And I'm also using high speed sync. I'm using a factor here of one eight hundredth of a second, okay? And I'm an F1.4. So very minimal depth of field falls right on our eyes right there. The tree and everything is back in here, goes into sort of gauzy, out of focus stuff. Okay, and the position of this light is important because I want to have a little light coming from here, skipping off of this, so I extend it. And one of the tried and true ways of doing that is with a C-stand arm. Uh, this is an extension arm that goes on top of a C-stand. We use Avenger C-stands and that kind of you know, grip equipment. Very durable. I've had some C-stands literally for 20 years. The little Philip that we put on, of course, that we do add and go with us all the time is a nail pin. It gives us an extra, you know, kind of pitch roll and yaw control up in here. A little bit more variance to the positioning of the light. Hi, Joe McNally here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. So my flash is just about matching the ambient level of the light. It's cleaning it up, making it prettier. The position, boomed overhead, is skipping off the fill board, and it's just filling her a little bit. She's got a soft, lovely face. I'm hoping to match that with my lighting treatment. It mingles with the ambient light at a level that is very near the ambient light, so you really can't tell that it is a flash picture. But the technology of using high-speed sync at 1 800th at f1.4 with a fast lens gives me that kind of gauzy background feel, okay? And it throws everything sort of into this very soft, kind of easy-going color in the background, concentrates the um, attention, if you will, on the sort of dreamy model up front who's you know, kind of looking away, looking down. And then, of course, I make it even more offhand. I'm not even sometimes conscious I'm doing this. You can see there's a little bit of kick to the picture. Um, yes and no sometimes, you know. That's a good technique, but I use it only selectively. Here it just felt right because the, the tree was in the background. Compositionally, it felt like if I just leaned a little bit this way, you know, that could work. Or the other thing I could say is I'm just getting old and over the course of my years in this field, I've developed a port side list. You know, take it any way that you would, you know, like to interpret that. This is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, talking about blending your flash with an ambient level of light for a very soft effect. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.